Welcome to CV Profiles at Open Doors. My name is David Hardy. A key aspect of marketing yourself when conducting an effective job search campaign is to create a CV that will grab the attention of recipients and open doors when seeking interviews and networking meetings. Indeed, you may need more than one CV depending on the direction you wish to take. This session provides a roadmap or framework when developing a CV profile, personal summary or executive statement. And there are five steps in this process. Step one, pick a word. Pick a word that resonates with you personally and professionally. And there's more to this than meets the eye. For example, when working with a business analyst, I asked him what was his main contribution to the business. And he said, I anticipate potential problems and then put in place contingency plans to mitigate risk. So you're forward thinking, I said. And this was the opening word of his profile. Some people say you should never start your profile with the word passionate, but if you're a senior fashion designer, producing high quality garments for the female apparel industry, then being passionate, market-led, consumer-driven, innovative or creative may all be appropriate. Clearly, passionate management accountant would be wholly inappropriate. Step two, define your brand. Often, companies give people job titles that do not necessarily mean much outside of the organisation or may not reflect the direction a person may wish to take. So a sales advisor with a travel company may call themselves a travel and leisure industry advisor if they wish to stay in that sector. However, if they wish to de-emphasise the sales element of their role, they may call themselves a customer service advisor or a business support professional. I once encountered when working with a financial services organisation the job title of collateral coordinator. In external speak this meant credit controller. The choice is yours so choose wisely. Step 3. Demonstrate added value. This is particularly important. I once asked an executive PA, what was the single most important thing that she did that made a difference to the life of a boss? And she said, I free him up so he can concentrate on running the business. The opening sentence of her profile was trusted executive PA, prioritizing the workloads of senior managers to enable them to focus on making business critical decisions. Step four, attributes and expertise. It's a good idea to provide readers of your CV with an insight as to your personality and what makes you tick. So pick a few words that reflect who you are as a person. Amongst other things, you may be solutions oriented, business minded, community minded, pragmatic or collaborative. A word of warning here is that anything that you put in your CV is subject to scrutiny at interview. So do be prepared to provide examples if required. Incorporating a few areas of your expertise is also beneficial, whether this be regulatory compliance, health and safety, lean processes or training and development. Step five. Pull it together. Strategic, SEMA qualified senior finance professional, contributing to the formulation and implementation of company strategy, collaborating closely with executive teams. An insightful, articulate and inquiring individual, analysing and interpreting complex data to present portfolio investment appraisals and business cases that optimise company value, possesses proven commercial acumen and influencing skills with a commitment to helping the organisation shape its future direction. To summarise, there are five steps when creating a compelling CV profile. Step one, pick a word. 
that resonates with you personally and professionally. Step two, define your brand. Step three, demonstrate added value. Step four, think about your attributes and expertise. Step five, pull it together in a statement of about four to six lines and you'll be well on your way to creating a CV that will engage hiring managers and recruiters and markedly improve your hit rate when seeking to secure interviews and networking meetings. Thank you for your time.